Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's it's time for more Crash Three, and uh, today we're gonna get back to where we were last time. But before we do that, I'm gonna just let you guys know I got all gold relics up to um, the most current level we did. Uh, high time gave me the most problems. I think everything up to this point has been pretty safe getting golds, and that I don't have every single ability unlocked like the Crash Dash, but. Um, this one in particular was so annoying because the margin of error was so tiny for me to do. Like, I, I hope I'm using the word correctly, but I did. the window for you to mess up is so sm <laughs> so so large that I had to keep on restarting this thing. I was here for like an hour and a half just trying to get a gold, and uh, I had to look it up. And the guy that I was watching, he, he used the, door, the the death tornado spin, which made bypassing a lot of the obstacles a non-issue. So, uh, I don't have that yet. <laughs> so I just brute forced my way in and got my gold, my gold uh, medal, my gold relic. So now we have approximately uh, 15 relics unlocked. On top of that, we'll be showing off the other levels that I got in the middle. Um... Uh, which is why we were able to get this gem. I believe you guys remember that long drawn out part. Or was it this one? No. Well, there was a yellow gem that uh, we ended up uh, thinking we could get in that one level, but turns out you had to get it from the uh, the back door section in the uh, the middle courier door area. So yeah, um, we're gonna get started with uh, was it level 15 here? Yeah, level 15, which is double header, and. Uh, Get ourselves into that uh, uh, Renaissance level once more. So much. Did you ever find which Paradox Gold takes you to uh, the secret level in that dinosaur level? Uh, I, th uh, I, you know, I forgot if I did that or not. Also, look at that, dude. That is that just looks like an abomination. Yes. <laughs> I think he's throwing. You're using chicken. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> I see the spinning boxes and I get all nervous. I gotta get back into my talking zone because last night I was playing this game like a, a drug addict, uh, trying to get the um, the best times possible, and that requires me to focus. Oh wow, 191 boxes. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get this all in one shot. Ooh. You can defeat the two-headed giants, by the way. It's a little tricky, but I think it might be required at some point because their bellies are bouncy. Of course it is. <laughs> as as anything in media has shown, it doesn't just go. <laughs> it's boing. <laughs> oh man. I will say, going through the grind of uh, getting the relics, this game is a lot more fun trying to get the the correct times for the relics as opposed to two and one. It also goes in the fact that maybe the level design is a lot easier, but it's also more fun. I think the the level design in three is a lot more. Fun. Box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Uh, thanks for that. That's the beauty of having uh, the capture being real time, so that way you don't have to worry about it five seconds later. Ugh. Anyway, this one has a lot of spinning boxes. Get out of your Gandalf. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the speedrun stuff for this one has been a lot more fun and enjoyable compared to the, um, the one for Crash 2 and subsequently 1. Maybe because the, the level design just feels a lot more free. For you to do whatever you want and improvise, as opposed to high time, because high time, oh man, screw that little, that was uh, that was um, not fun trying to get the gold relic on that one. And according to you, imagine there's a few others. According, huh? according to you, we don't need we don't need the um, the uh, the platinums in order to get the uh, super secret uh, ending where you find out that Crash is Cortex's father. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sid. Believe it only said you need the gold. Okay. 
Did I screw myself over? I think I did. I don't... Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Time to die. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> that TNT don't look right. <laughs> I think Luigi just restarted here. So, man, <clears throat> let's date this episode. Man, that Paper Mario reveal. <laughs> well, how was that, huh? That was a surprise. Yeah, I am so happy I did not get spoiled watching that direct. Because, boy oh boy, I teared up so much with that opening crawl with the, with the book opening. Because it was just like floods of memories just came from flying by. And I was like, oh my goodness. Oh good, okay. <laughs> That's what we can go over that one. Um, but yeah, the just seeing that was like, whoa. They actually decided to remake it, not just port it. And that alone is like, wow, the Nintendo. You realize what you're doing, right? You're gonna end up making lots of money. And you're gonna be confused. Why? <laughs> Miyamoto's gonna be like, I thought people don't like Paper Mario. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, there was a survey on that series that kind of got weird answers, so they took it to heart and yada yada. Dude, I, I thought they don't like partners anymore. I thought we just settled with normal, normal Mario characters. But they didn't oh. like complex stories. <laughs> oh, I hate stories. <laughs> <laughs> I know Miyamoto likes stories, but the, that that inter entire interview where he's like, "Oh, you don't need a story to make a game and all that." Technically, it's true, but people we still like him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Paper Mario, I'm so excited. I will buy that. I I think that will be. Oh wait, spinning box. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, no! Um, hope I have enough. Yeah! Gandalf, no. Well, good thing Gandalf doesn't shoot me from this angle. What's up, bro? Can you be friends? Alright. Um, uh, but yeah, I think Paper Mario, I, I will pre order that the moment they allow me to. Because. What? How are you missing that many? Okay, there's, there's probably some. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, let's go! I don't believe that they removed a toad that talks about Fire Emblem. Um, I'm thinking they either just moved him or just replaced him with a Koopa. Wait, wait, what are we talking about? That that same game. A uh, Thousand Year Door? Yeah. There was apparently a toad that talked about Fire Emblem. Oh, okay, I don't remember that detail. Oh well. well um, maybe, maybe you probably just... didn't realize it because you didn't know what Fire Emblem was back in the day. Oh, that me and a lot of other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know it'd be really funny if they decided to have that. Just make Paper Marth. <laughs> Put Paper Marth there and be like, play my games, please. <laughs> please. Ah, it's Blue Man Crew. Men are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. This time, you've done it! Alright, let's go, Clockman. His amazing powers come at a price. Crash. Alright, so the gimmick of him is just survive now until he hurts himself. Time, you little skunk. Uh, tires himself out. Ooh. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I think I could do this, boss. Ah, I died! Wow, but he just... But he's super easy. Are you super easy? That's what people on the internet say. Okay, well, I I've died. I've never had ever. I don't think I've ever gotten this far in an OG crash. Uh, crash there. Like I said, uh, back in the day, I played this- Whoa, wait, wait! No! Whoa. Don't do that to me! I, I got I got confuzzled because I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, back then I, I this is this is this game uh, originally on on uh, PlayStation. I played this at a babysitter's house, and I didn't really get far. But I remember it was Crash Three specifically. 
Okay, so you stay Ooh. on this platform. Okay. And then it moves. That's what threw me off. Wee. Wee. Okay. Wee. Well, it makes the things way easier now that you have a double jump. That's probably why. I got greedy. Well, I I I've gotten so used to doing like this as a as a long jump that um it, it's hard to break the habit. It, it works. <laughs> Alright, brother. What do you got? What do you got for me? Like anytime I, I see a platform, I could definitely make with the, uh, the 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 slide long jump. My brain's like, you can do it. You can shave off some time. <laughs> Whoa, that thing was actually flying. Like, uh, uh, towards me. In the sky. <laughs> Not just that armchair link. Whee. Okay, alright. Now I'll take you seriously. Now that I know what I'm dealing with here. There, I gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> okay, ooh, okay, this one's going in the sky. That one, okay. Whee. <laughs> ah! It's cool that we're actually in like the I... Arabian section though, because that's the, the I think that's the model for the uh, the area we're in. Yeah, it looks like it. Gotcha. Just in time. But yours soon will be too. Hmm. Can I put that armor on? <laughs> nope. You could still kill yourself here, so I don't want to take the risk. <laughs> Yay! The death tornado spin to spin longer and faster, or to glide while in the air. Press Y button repeatedly. That can completely break the game. You can do the death runs in certain areas without having to be, you know, <laughs> accurate, deathless. <laughs> it's just, uh, hmm. I'm just gonna Superman my way over these platforms. <laughs> Coco, you must realize that this time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do? Okay. I, I forget to see why that's my problem. <laughs> Alright, well, Egypt land over here. Let's go. What do we got here? Uh, Sphinxinator. Oh, okay. So now we're dealing with, um,. With uh, Mr. Smokes a lot over here. You're in my domain now. <laughs> As he takes a quick whiff of his uh, his uh. Oh wow! See, this is why you always go back. <laughs> there's like a spot that that's just seeming like there's more to in the back. Just go there. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, good thing you got a new death tornado move. Realized. Whoa, 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 hold up. I'm not used to this power yet. <laughs> okay, I gotta get used to using it like that. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay. I should probably get rid of you, though. Uh... Oh, that also just makes your spin longer, so your hitbox is uh, way more reliable. That's cool, I suppose. Yeah, except, you know, obviously, you'll still die from TNT. Come on, get out of here, dude. <laughs> I'm not used to this power yet. Uh, ooh, a checkpoint. Wait a minute. And what was the other spot for? I guess that's a good time to backtrack. Uh, ignore the checkpoint? Yeah, might hmm. as Yeah, we'll do that. YOLO! Okay, good thing that thing decided not to smush me then. Okay. Yeah, this this thing's sort of throwing me off because I think it's a different timing for the uh, this this pin. Ah. Okay, hold up. I, I need I need to master this because I've been doing it the other way. Okay, I guess that's one way of doing it. Uh, I don't know. I think you can do it even on the double jump. No. 
<laughs> okay, well, let me see what's on the other side. Just to see if it's even worth uh, backtracking the iron. And of course, boxes. Also, Maybe. this game feels a lot... I think out of all the games that we've played so far, depending on how your aptitude level is for... Um, for cra oh, yeah, this... Oh, hmm. Oops. Too soon. No, I, uh, hmm. Okay, so that's how the... Okay, I, I think I got a feeling for it now. Let me see. Yeah, that's how they want you to do it. Okay. It's different. I'm not u I'm not used to that power. I, I'm, I'm used to the old way. Anyway, uh, out of the, the three games so far, I think... Um, Look at that. Four extra lives because they knew it was difficult. I think uh, Crash 2 probably is the most difficult out of the three that I've played so far. Mainly because they, they were very skimpy on uh, on extra lives. No! Oh, you tease! <laughs> oh, you tease. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, Crash 2 was very uh, um, skimpy with, uh, with extra lives. That's what I, I don't think I've I've had a game over in Crash Three yet, uh, unless it happened early on. Okay. Oh come on! I didn't even touch the spike like that, bro. Okay. But yeah, Crash Two. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think Crash One, it was difficult, but they gave you plenty of opportunities to get extra lives. Where does this take me? Oh! Hmm. So this just takes me over here. And that's where the, the true backtracking comes from. Okay. Woo! Okay. Let's just get that one off. Okie dokie. 105 boxes, my goodness, man. And we're, we're not even at the uh, uh, crash for you. Okay. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, that makes a lot of things safer now. Okay. And it's just uh, a quick, simple trip. All these, all these aerial mobility stuff with Crash, it just feels, feels odd going from Crash 1 all the way here. Like, going back to Crash 1, it's gonna feel really weird. <laughs> Alright. This thing's almost instantaneous. Almost instantaneous. Bypass that. Oh. Anyway, uh, Paper Mario, do you uh, <clears throat> do you see yourself getting that copy of the game? Yeah. Is that a no? Pretty much. Uh, okay. Uh, did you ever play the original? No. You must have heard the legends, though, right? Uh -huh. A plus tier, S plus tier, S S S plus tier. That game is. It's literally the perfect Mario RPG game. Or are you uh, are you a Mario and Luigi uh, uh, main when it comes to your Mario RPGs? Well, I look. I like the Mario Paper Mario series, but I just get. Yeah. Sick of hearing how great the paper Mario without your door is. Oh, it's true though. <laughs> you know they're remaking it. <laughs> I would have preferred a remake of the first one first. Honestly, I feel like that's gonna happen though. You, if you look at that, if you look at that opening crawl with uh, Luigi giving the note to Mario, um. That feels they, they they have that picture of Mario and his uh, 64 buddies there. Meaning they had to redraw that. Meaning that it's definitely in the cards that they will do that. Probably on the last one of the last games that uh, they make for the Switch, which is honestly kind of funny if you think about it. 
Because, uh, wasn't Mario 64 one of the last games that came out for the 64? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, great. No! Stop doing that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Mario 64. I, I, I still play it once in a while. Uh, I have it on my, um... <laughs> My uh, Wii, uh, my Wii U Virtual Console. Uh, do I like it more than than two? No, heck no. But it's still a good time. It's the game that gave us uh, the precursor to uh, to Macho Grappa. Oh great! It needs a gem. I make it all this way just for it to tell me it needs a gem. It better just be for uh, one gem you don't have. Yeah. And that's where I'd put my gem. If I had one! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Back on crash topic. Um, how much are you looking forward to... Uh... Woo! How much are you looking forward to Crash 4? Because <laughs> we're getting close to the end of this game anyway. Hmm. Well, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'm also a little scared, <laughs> just based on what I'm going to expect there. Uh. Okay, 52 boxes. And there's this thing here. And they gave me a, a crystal. Oh no, crash, jump off! <laughs> oh no! Crashes up. Crashes up. Bam. <laughs> he will. He will. He will perform the obstacle course like no one else can. All right. Yeah, that was them trying to trip me up. Uh, that, that was probably like the 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 rage quit moment thing that they wanted to have. Nothing else could possibly ruin. Oh wait. <laughs> I see. I see that. I think I'm a noob over here. I mean, I am, but also, no. Metal flop! There we go. Got them all. Probably wasted my time that I know that there's a platform, but I'm hoping it's just for crystal. I mean, I, um, a gem. A gem. Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, gotta deal with the monkey. Oh. There we go. Five more boxes. Hmm. Well, there's one of them. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh no. Double monkey. Oh my goodness! That almost killed me! I had Nakuaku. Okay. Votes now. Do you think that's the five boxes I need? And the answer is. I'm not answering it. There we go. <laughs> there it was. So I guess that's just the challenge run. Yeah. Challenge run for probably some random crystal. It's the Sonic flavored crystal, as we all know. Gem. Oh, gem. Sonic flavor gem. There we go. That was too. That was too hard. In terms of backtracking uh, levels with Crash, I I played worse. <laughs> All right, let's mix things up with uh, with some cocoa. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I thought uh, I thought we weren't able to play as Coco in this one. Uh, you must be thinking of something else. I don't think this is a. Oh, it's an airplane one. She does the airplanes. I thought Crash had an airplane. I think that's in uh, Wrath of Cortex. Okay. Oh, we have free roam here. Ah, oh, inverted controls. Okay, hold up. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, that's that's more likely. All right, it's time to go defeat the enemy. Oh man, you know what? Imagine it. Imagine that the, the tornado section were like this for Sonic. Oh 
Oh man. Wait, those boxes still count if I just destroy the bubble, right? I mean, the, the balloons. I have no idea. Okay, there's only an eight. eleven. Get out of here. This is an unofficial air zone. Yeah, I better just turn around. They won't bother attacking me if they're not in uh, turnaround distance. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. okay, you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to ignore you. Stop it. I'm going to go over here then. I'm going to destroy your boss's blimps. Because they're evil, apparently. Well, you can just, I have no idea. Like, yeah, I love how you just bypass them, you know, from attacking you just by getting them off screen. <laughs> They're like, darn it! She turned to the right slightly. <laughs> Any faints from existence. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got some boxes. Seven. All right. Cool. You guys better not be holding a box though. There we go. Oops. Wait, that was it? Oh. Yeah, you got to destroy seven blimps. You oh. destroyed the seven. <laughs> I, I was having fun. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me um, let me fix that wrong. <laughs> that seemed relatively easy to get the boxes, if that's the case. All right, you know what, Crash? Go in there. <laughs> Oh, hey. So, Crash Bandicoot will meet again. Ooka Ooka and Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. <laughs> so back off or be deleted. I'll be deleted. Yeah, that's, that's, um, that dude was ready for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot down the blimps. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, that's the tornado. That's Sonic's original tornado. What is Crash doing with that? <laughs> hmm. I guess it doesn't matter who does the plane. Yeah. I, I feel like Crash was the only one allowed to be on the plane back then. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just destroy this one since it's close by and convenient to me. What is this? Okay, that's that's another one for me. Oh yeah, so just I'll focus on. Can I go faster, please? <laughs> Crash. Um, uh, you you clearly don't know how to use Sonic's plane here. <laughs> Sonic has a turbo speed button on it. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's eight. Where is the rest of them? Okay, got more of my health back, because that somehow works. Okay, where's the last one at? <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that 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 skybox. <laughs> okay. Sir, he's trying to get the final box. Stop him! <laughs> okay, alright, we need two more of these. Okay, but now I'm gonna ignore the last one. And hope the box shows itself. Oh, it's right there. It's hiding behind the blimp. I just gotta wait for it to land. There we go. There, do I get my gem nuts? <laughs> oh, okay. I think it went to you automatically. Alright, cool. Um, hold up. Hold up, wait a minute! There we go. Busted right through there. <laughs> oh! Imagine, imagine your, your plane just like landing back here in the station. <laughs> it's like, no, Crash, don't bring that with you. <laughs> womp, womp. 
guy, cool. Alright, that's that's a free gem for us. Yeah, I feel I feel like that was a crash only thing back then. They they probably added Coco in there. Which is odd. Okay, uh Tail No Tails. I don't remember this one. Oh, this is a this is a Coco only. Mm. Lost, follow the yellow arrow at the top of the screen. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh Aku. I don't know. I don't know if I feel comfortable with Aku Aku uh, being on our side. It's 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 just Aku twice, and I've I've watched Samurai Jack. <laughs> That's the <not> evil squared. <laughs> All right, how many boxes? Okay, sixty-one. That's not too bad. Okay, I was trying to gun it. Hopefully, I didn't. Uh, uh, I was really hoping I wasn't gonna touch those. The perspective on those bombs are really weird. And also, I haven't got a chance to um, to get the relic for Hot Coco yet. I, I did miss that one. Now that I think about it. Okay, where, where is this? Where is this going? Oh, <laughs> okay. It's literally in the in the line of sight. The, the, that box is getting hit by the by the uh, the cannonballs. All right, all right, get it this time. All right, Coco, come on, please. Okay. There we go. Okay. Easy. First try. I know those things. Okay. <laughs> I know those things hurt you if you get too close to them and they're perched on. Okay, let's go check the other side of this island. Mm, nothing, nothing, whatever that is. Oh, got a pirate dude over here. Mm. Yo, Explode, you're awfully quiet right now. Anything, uh, anything on your mind? Nah, I'm just quiet. I guess the, the final uh, final cleanup is uh, probably not that interesting for whatever. We're gonna check more. Check more. Well, considering that we're, we've already dated this episode, um, was there anything in that direct that you actually cared about? The Wario uh, The Wario. I'm gonna say I'm not a, I'm not really sold on the on the, the new voice direction for Wario. Hey, you've only got one line so far. Yeah, it's, it definitely does sound like he's trying to do Wario, but it, it doesn't come off as rough as um, as I, I would like from Wario. Notice I didn't say as well, Charles Well, the latest Mario. Wario in uh, uh, Get It Together was also a little higher than usual, as was uh, Gold. I think uh, the highest pitch of Wario, Wario's voice that I could think about, was from Wario Wario World. That was really high, a higher pitched Wario voice, but it still felt um, uh, rough enough, in my opinion. We're ne we're never gonna have uh, Wario ever again say, "Oh my God!" <laughs> oh, I love that. But uh. Love you. But, well, what? Nothing. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, Wario. Uh, I, I really hope the, the voices get a little better. It, it did feel kind of like uh, foreshadowing, considering that Mario Strikers was using uh, reusing a lot of lines from older Mario games. Uh, it really made you think, like, oh, why? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You missed one up. That's fine. <laughs> it's not for 100% completion. Goes for it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you thought? <laughs> Still missed it, but uh, you went for it. <laughs> <laughs> of 
crash. We need to talk. <laughs> I think something's wrong with Coco. <laughs> Again? <Huh? laughs> Six out of sixty-one. That's not too bad. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, the crystals, of course. Uh, there we go. Okay, I see you, bomb. No, no. Oh. <laughs> those things get uh, the perspective of those things really mess me up. I'm gonna keep bringing up. No yeah, it's really hard to, to know if they're close to you or not. That's why you see me turning to kind of see the other axis. No! Well, that's unfortunate. Guess I'll die. <laughs> Good thing I had a checkpoint, though. Well-placed checkpoint game devs. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just going to check one second because I feel like... I feel like I skipped the box in there. No, okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. Oh yeah, that was good enough. Don't, don't, don't know how that works, but that it worked in my favor. Okay. Got ourselves a white shark over here. Dude, that's a sad existence. That's, that's all his. That's all his job was. Was just to spin that around, and I just completely destroyed his entire point of existence. Six out of sixty-one. All right. Thankfully, no, no gem, uh, gem stuff have been tied to this. Okay, I may, I guess I spoke too soon. Where the heck are the other boxes? Fifty-six out of sixty-one. Hmm. That's a problem for past. For sorry, that's a problem for future me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go yep. for it. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the longer we stay in these vehicle missions for um, for these guys, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you know the rest of that. Indeed. <laughs> 